All praises to the almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things and the master of the day of judgment, which we are in now. Hallelujah. And to my spirit mother, Marihala, the most beautiful one, much love, honor, respect, and gratitude. Kwam Yasharala to my big brother, Messiah, who's presently riding with the host over this earth. Yeah, I said that they're riding now. We are in the days of judgment. And just like Turkey, Palestine, Ohio got hit in the same way. It was judgment and it was justice. I want you guys to pay attention to the beautiful farmland because we're going to talk about that today. Y'all see how beautiful that is? They got their little churches sprinkled about. Yeah. Well, I looked up Ohio sundown towns and in the last update I got, it was dated 2021 so this is this is still going on okay so we're going to take a tour i want you to pay attention to the landscape as as we go from palestine and go to each sundown town that is still in existence today that frame of mind and i don't know if you know what a sundown town is a sundown this category lists populated places in Ohio that at any point practiced a form of segregation known as a sundown town. Some of these places may be unincorporated areas or neighborhoods rather than municipalities. Yeah, y'all don't have anybody telling y'all what to do. So y'all decided y'all was going to police yourself and we know about your sundown towns. You know, you know what that means for, for anyone who don't know? That means that you better not, your black ass better not be caught after the sun goes down. Or you might get hung. You might get lynched. You might get beat. You might get thrown in jail. You're definitely going to be abused if your black ass is caught in a sundown town sun goes down. That's why it's called the sundown town. So we see that all of the surrounding areas around Palestine are these beautiful farmlands. Yeah. Unincorporated uh, farmlands. Yeah. Unincorporated. They could do whatever they want to do. They don't have municipalities over them, so they don't want us there. They don't want us there. So you see all this farmland, all this farmland, and the fact that all these sundown towns are still running the same old racist way they got hit. Like I said, they got hit because the chemicals and the derailment are going to eventually seep down in the soil. People are already getting sick all around. They told the people to move back. It was safe. The fire chief told them they were safe. I told you they'd be lying to you. People are getting sick. And now it's spreading far out because i seen where somebody got sick miles away. And so all of that farmland is going to be affected. Fire, this derailment. This is one example of judgment that's going to happen all over the United States. Uh, you know, I said that the judgment came just like it did with Turkey. Turkey was it was responsible. Turkey, Syria, Greece, and Italy, probably other countries over there, trying to keep the immigrants out. Yeah, you know, y'all build the wall, people. Yeah, well, they were killing people out at sea in the most ho- hopeless way. And look what happened to them. They can't go back home. They're instant immigrants. 
Yeah, and, and, and yeah, I said it was judgment. This is the Most High God of Israel casting judgment on you for your atrocities. Now, Palestine was enlisted as a sundown town. But what triggered me into looking up sundown towns in Ohio was the racial demographics of Palestine. You see that? They don't even have us melanated ones, Hebrew Israelites on the statistics were not listed. All of that beautiful farmland and opportunities you kept us from, the system is still running today. How many black farmers are in the United States? In 2017, the United States had 48,697 producers who identified as black, either alone or in combination with other races. They counted for 1.4% of the country's 3.4 million producers, and they lived and farmed primarily in southeastern and mid-Atlantic states. 1.4%. So we're going to get into why there are so few farmers in the United States of America. Let's listen to one farmer's story. Log that the neighbor maintained was supporting video and photos of each interaction she considered to be stalking. But when it came time for the investigation, it wasn't her cameras pointed at them, but the Mallory's cameras pointed toward her property that deputies confiscated. With the this couple has a very, very sad story. You know, they're very strong people, and they must have a lot of faith because they're right in the midst of what I just showed you. They're right in the middle of it. And they're not being pushed away. They have their feet planted. Yeah, the Most High is going to bless them too. Very shortly. Um, let's let's go back to the video. Because you have to hear how these neighbors was actually harassing. And just how, the life that these black farmers have to endure. Yeah, and this happens. I, I'm not saying it happens to all black farmers, but you see how few they are. With me, you remove the, the only support that I have, and the only other eyes I have to 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 try to catch what's going on around me. CW said the sheriff's office is using video caught on the neighbor's security cameras against him, but his cameras were removed. I asked him why he'd walk by their neighbor's home with hands in the air. My cows were loose, so we went down there, got our cows, and the, we pushed them back the way they came out. And as we, I said, we, we need to put our hands up and, and say, please don't shoot us. We're just getting our cows. Please don't shoot. Me putting my, I just want to revisit that. Me putting my hands up, us putting our hands up, and um, is a safety um, as an African-American, my dispute is with El Paso County Sheriff's Department for enabling this behavior. Nicole says one deputy in particular who she's filed multiple complaints against is leading the charge. In what I believe is a modern day KKK assault. Animals being gutted, our lives being threatened, people being sent to our home um, under threat of lynch, lynching, hanging, pitchforks, fire. We had a chicken coop set ablaze. Guess who was arrested? Guess who was arrested for having their hands up saying, please don't shoot. We're just over here getting our cows. Today, 45,000 out of the 3.4 million farmers in the United States identify as black according to the United States Department of Agriculture. The USDS, who is complicit as well. That's why the United States farms are going to get hit. These numbers are down 1 million. 1 million from a century ago. 
So this couple is one of many, a multitude, a great percentage of black farmers and what they have to go through when they try to survive in the farming industry. So the Most High burned the land. So now this train hit where there were actually no black farmers. No, no black farmers, so they had already been processed off the land. By processed, I mean driven off or terrorized off the land. Or systematically driven off of the land. Now everyone in the surrounding areas are very alarmed. These people are so afraid. They're so afraid for their futures. Yeah, everything they owned was in that farmland. This is how they made their money. And it's all gone. All of their hard work, gone. It's, it's all gone. For Their posterity won't even be able to enjoy it. Because of the chemicals that are going to settle in the lands. This is serious. You guys see this, this smoke plume? Well, that smoke got carried away. It's already spread it, but we, like I said, we had winds. The wind spread them out further. Yeah, now we have a storm coming in rain. And when the rain come, it's going to seep down into the water. Yeah, it's already in the water killing the animals. It's already down there killing the animals. And whatever animals drink it, they're dying. And so when the rains and the snow comes... And it melts, then it's going to poison all of the surrounding waters. And they will not be able to use the water, you know, the most high. He, he poisoned the waters in this judgment. And so everything that they own, they're going to be swept off now. They're being processed off the land. And so very shortly, because we have already been in the days of judgment for three and a half years this month. Yeah. Since the anniversary of our 400 years of captivity, this is prophetic. Yes, the Most High said he was going to do these things. And so they had their signs, you know, that they were they were under judgment. They had already been weighed in the balance. And some of the people in the area are feeling the effects of these poison gases. And they're afraid. They're afraid. And they have reason to be because they couldn't hide what chemicals were actually, that they were actually exposed to. 3,500 fish already killed in their creek. So it's in the water already. It's in the water already. But we have a storm coming. And so now with this storm, it's going to uh, really bring these chemicals down into the soil yeah it's going to be absorbed in the soil and this farmland is not going to be any good for a long time i don't know how many layers of soil they're going to have to remove in order to get rid of all of the poison but this is going to go for miles and miles out it's like these people are very afraid and their voice and their fears and their frustration because there's nobody that will help them. That's what happens in judgment. Yeah, we were under judgment. That's why nobody heard us. We didn't have any power in our hands. Yeah, and nobody would help us. Yeah, just like the farmers that got ran off the land. Same thing. So now their, their complaints are discounted. Just like that farmer we saw when he kept on telling uh, the sheriffs that he was being harassed and they gutted his animals and such and, and they arrested him. Well, you know, they arrested a reporter that was reporting on this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you see the parallels? Five tank cars that derailed contained vinyl chloride, which vaporizes into phosgene when burned. Now, this is the same chemical that killed thousands of soldiers during the First World War. After the accident on February 3rd, thousands of residents on the Ohio-Pennsylvania border were ordered to evacuate. There's always warning before judgment. And this little town of Palestine, Ohio, actually did a movie 
predicting or prophesying their own judgment. Check this out. The scene was so cinematic, it was oddly evocative of a 2022 Don DeLillo adaptation, White Noise, and White Noise, and White Noise, in which a toxic air event in the Midwest forces the film's central family to evacuate. Even more eerie, the film was shot in East Palestine scene. There is no coincidences. None. There's no coincidences that they just did a movie last year about the very same thing. That's no coincidence. The Most High, listen, once we find out why people are being judged, we are supposed to be shouting, Quam Yasharala, because the Most High has his heavenly host fighting our battles. In this case, the war was on the black farmer for centuries. And so now that we're in the days of judgment and no longer under the curses, the Most High's host took over the fight. You get it? And so, yeah, we praise and magnify the Most High for what happened in Palestine, Ohio. Some people might find this message offensive and say that this message is racist. Yeah, well, actually it does. It has everything to do with racism. Because when you had the opportunity to be a blessing to the black farmer or just to work with him side by side, fairly and equally, the racism is what driven what had driven the black farmer out of the industry. Yeah, so hey, you know, I I we we don't have the power to uh retaliate. We don't have the power to avenge ourselves. The most high God of Israel is casting judgment on the farming industry in America because of the atrocities that just went on for centuries. Yeah, and you had your warnings. Yes, uh, first shot missed uh, on the fourth balloon. So uh, we're talking about the balloon that was uh, downed over Lake Huron. Uh, the, the first balloon, the Chinese spy balloon uh, that went down over the Atlantic on the South Carolina coast, that was the shot hit. Uh, the second one over uh, Alaska on the north coast of Alaska, that one hit. Uh, the third one in, that landed in the Yukon, that one hit. Uh, on the fourth one over Lake Huron, first shot missed, uh, second shot hit. So the Chinese, quote unquote, spy balloons was another warning. So there's two warnings. And then we had the third warning with the fighter jets. The last video I shared uh, Mr. MBB333's map of how they were chasing um these chariots that's what we call them we call them chariots those ufos yeah um those chariots had them on a wild goose chase and then they said that they shot them down but now they they always use the um the icy land as an excuse as to why they didn't collect uh the wreckage and so Going back to the subject, you guys seen how the chariots was all over the Midwest. Yeah. And so the Archangel what Michael wanted us to know is like he was signaling, signaling to us with this wild goose chase that something was going to happen. And then we had that judgment of the train derailment. There's so much to this story. There's so much to this story. Yeah, I wish I could share more with you. Yeah, I tried to do this video on yesterday, but uh, YouTube would not post it because I got hit on copyrights. And I know it's probably because I had Fox News on there. Yeah, uh, President Biden had awarded farmers like $4 billion out of the stimulus package for, uh, you know, the COVID relief and so the white farmers were very angry yeah this was supposed to help the black farmers to get out of debt and to help them get back on their feet after COVID but it was allotted to them they were allotted money too 
but the black farmers had their own fund that it was actually in one state they blocked the help from coming to the farmers they wouldn't even accept the money okay because they said it was not fair (laughs) and so they blocked it there and then the judge passed their funds to go to them to the white farmers and they held up the black farmers so it's, it's very deep you know uh the racism but now i i want to just um show you how they have sewn everything up for their, their posterity that's why the most high destroyed the land because they have been enjoying the blessings for so very long unfairly yeah, so this story was interesting. I came across it, I think, a couple years ago or something, or a year ago, and it came to mind, and I was able to find the video on it. So let's just see how deep this goes with the systemic racism in the white farming industry. Hoping to work in agriculture must first pass industry certification exams. There's incentive for higher marks. With each passed exam through Agriculture Education Service and Technology, or AEST, the scheduling teacher gets a $25 to $50 bonus. The school district gets $400 to $800 for their ag programs. They use that money to benefit the program, um, buy tractors, uh, feed for the animals, to enhance the agricultural program for the whole county. A great deal, provided teachers enforce the rules. For years, Hudson High School students passed with flying colors under the watch of Harold Martin, Robert Harrington, and Kathleen Troutman. That is, until FDLE got an anonymous complaint. A statewide audit from July 2018 to April 2021 found Hudson students took more certification exams than any other Florida school, finishing in less than half the average time with much higher pass rates. Pasco County schools, unaware of the cheating, bought $80,000 in exams for Hudson. Agents say some teachers took administrator exams together and prepared study guides for students. These guides were the exact copies of the exams. Students were also allowed to use the study guides while taking their exams. None of the mandatory requirements were followed. So not a single proctor was used in any of these tests. In some cases, FDLE says teachers took tests for students, including those in exceptional student education, without their knowledge. And the fact that these ESE students were involved in that just really, that personally offends me. The entire scheme cost the Department of Education more than $708,000, including nearly 37000 in teacher bonuses. The cost goes beyond money. AEST is now invalidating more than 1,000 certification exams from Hudson. You know, I feel bad for the kids that feel like they've got a certification, per se, and now they're in the field of their dreams, and now this could potentially be in question because... Three individuals want to throw some money in their pocket. Now, this is the epitome of systemic racism. Yeah, they got their posterity set up um, to take over. Yeah, so they can inherit the land. That's why um, the U.S., well, the world, the farming industry uh, worldwide is under judgment right now. Just be looking for more of that to happen. Yeah, we're almost out of here, so we don't have anything to worry about. But these are the reasons why the farming industry is under judgment right now. I mean, we can make the parallels and connect the dots at this point. So now we can see clearly that the Most High is judging people and he's balancing the scales and we can make the parallels. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for supporting this station with your kind donations. And those of you that have been following my station, you know exactly where I'm going with this. Yes, the Archangel Uriel, the very black Archangel. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The host of the Most High is riding. He's at war with all of the enemies of his people, the 12 tribes of Israel, the people of the book. And this is undeniable at this time. Some people might not want to recognize it as being a judgment, you know? When people are being punished harshly for their behaviors, a lot of times when you say, you know, that's karma, you know, it because of, of the suffering that they're enduring, they don't want to say it's judgment. But I have to say that I have to announce 
that this was a judgment. This was a judgment of the Most High. This is a, the Messiah. He's very black with a fire, NATO and blast coming out of his mouth. Our crown Messiah, the biggest megalith on this earth. That's as tall as 11 city blocks. Yeah. I imagine he's probably like 60 city blocks if you take both dimensions. And he's carved out perfectly on this earth by the hand of the Most High, which there is a megalith of his left hand to judgment. These megaliths mark this earth for judgment. That's exactly what this is. And it's funny how the largest megalith on this earth is top secret from the world and that's not known about. Yeah, well, the Most High wants you to know what's happening, Israel. And here we go, our special portal, the winged lion, the lion of Judah. There's a story about this lion and Caesar. The Most High have uh, in his heavenly host winged lions. You can see he has a crown on his head. Yeah, Caesar wanted to see the Most High's lion because he was so prideful about his lions. You know, the ones that uh, we had to fight in the arena for their entertainment. Yeah, and so he said, oh, your people are talking about uh, they're the lion of God. And, and, and look at all my lions. I want to see this lion. And he said, you don't want to see that lion. He said, oh, yeah, I want to see it out of his pride. Well, the lion left his portal once and he flew up in the atmosphere way out by the stars and he let out a roar. He let out a roar and all of the women in Rome miscarried their babies. All of the pre pregnant women miscarried. And when the, sec the second roar of the lion uh, fell upon the earth, all of Caesar's army their teeth fell out. All of their teeth fell out. And then Caesar saw the power of the lion of the Most High. Yeah. And he said, oh, no, I don't want to send him back. Send him back. Yeah. And so these are um, signs of judgment. And I wouldn't, you know, if, if you're insulted by this message, you're in the wrong place. You should be heeding to the warning and repent because we are under judgment. And you don't want this lion to come out of its portal and you still have the racist mindset. So that's to white people. As far as Judah is concerned, this portal is for us, our tribe. We are the lions. We are the lions of Judah. Yeah, and so was the Messiah. He was from our tribe as well. He looked just like an African-American, the ones that they despised. Yeah, he looked just like us because we came from the same tribe. Hallelujah. So really, everybody in this world messed with the wrong people. And so judgment is here. All praises to the Most High. Keep your vibrations high, Israel. You see how important our vibration? If one of us was there... And, and uh, it was picked up that one of a star seed was in the midst of those lands. It wouldn't have gotten hit. Yeah, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have gotten hit. So pack your bags, Israel. Pack your bags. Judgment is here. We've been in it three and a half years. Is about to accelerate. So pack your bags because the chariots will be arriving. I believe during the three days of darkness are the days of darkness. Yeah, because the Most High said that he was going to gather us on a dark and cloudy day. The chariots are docked. Yeah, they're ready for the order. Okay, because the Most High is going to send out an order. The trumpets will blast. They will come and pick us up. We'll be gone for three and a half years. Being protected while this earth is still under judgment, being cleansed. And being re-educated. Yeah, we'll have the proper truth then. The unadulterated truth will be taught to us. The un unadulterated truth of the laws of the universe. And knowledge that we need to come back and rule. Because we're going to be down there for three and a half years. And after the host is finished cleansing this earth. Then we will return. The Atlanteans will reclaim the Americas. Yeah, and Judah will rule the world. Yeah, along with the Messiah. 
hallelujah this is the fleet right here yeah fleets inside of earth you might need to catch up if you don't know what you're looking at i have plenty of videos on table mountain okay you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed doing it for you thanks again for watching i send you infinite love and light and i receive yours the hebrew rose jericho out Shalom until the next magical show.